Okay, welcome everyone to today's webinar. As uh, I relaunch a poll, and let me know is this your first time attending this webinar? So just to let us for us to know. Okay, I've seen a couple of new names here. So from the poll, I can see that yes, indeed, uh, there are a couple, of, many actually quite many uh, number of first timers here. So let me tell you uh, more about what we do. We have a daily webinar where Gene will be walking you through his thoughts and ideas for specific currency for each day. On Monday, we have the Aussie and New Zealand. Tuesday is the Euro. Wednesday is the Pound. Thursday, Yen and Gold. Friday, the Canadian Dollar. So today, it's Wednesday. So Wednesday, we're talking about the Pound Pairs. As he'll be taking us through different time frame, this webinar is going to be very beneficial to both long-term investors and short-term traders. During this session, Jin will be going through what could move prices, possible trade ideas, highlighting potential targets and risks. Uh, however, a disclaimer, any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trip recommendation. Can you excuse, excuse me a minute? Ah, sorry for the time. However, disclaimer, any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade recommendation. It is solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. A quick introduction to Gene. Gene is a founder of LCMS Traders and Forex Briefcase. Gene runs LCMS Traders where he coaches traders on how to trade Forex to be consistent and profitable. And of course, Forex Briefcase, which is our managed account services where Gene trades an AUM of more than 12 million USD on a daily basis. Now, Gene has been really been invited to many stages globally around like Hong Kong, Bangkok, Malaysia, you know, or to speak, give his views to speak on Forex market. Now, let me run a second poll. Okay, so a uh, second poll on how did you get to know this webinar? How do you get to you know here? Okay, let me run another poll here. No. It is very important for us that us know. Okay, so while you're doing this, uh, op this poll, I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you more about LCMS Traders Club up here now lcms traders club is a private group where we teach guide signal coach you to be a better and more profitable trader this is the place to be regardless whether you're new experienced part-time or full-time trading if you have joined us from telegram channel which i see a lot of you are you have been enjoying our trade signals absolutely free a question that you might have is that when you are told when to get into a trade you do not know where to exit in the Traders Club, we not only give you the signals earlier than the Telegram channel, we also tell you the strategy behind the signals and actually guide you on where to exit with specific reasons. So that in the long run, you not only learn, earn from the signals, you also learn how to trade better. Now you can look at it here. You know, yesterday we gave a sell signal of pound yen 144.37, with a stop loss, three possible take profit targets. We also give you the analysis behind why we take this trade, you know, and so when you see uh, pound yen, it hit TP1, we suggested you to move to stop loss to break even and try to see if we can maximize the profit to hold to TP2. However, the market yesterday wasn't uh, really moving too much. So we suggested to hold, the, uh, we secure your profits at 20, uh, 20 pips, you know, which is TP1, uh, since the market is not moving as, as going the direction selling downwards. Right, so in this case, now if you want to learn new strategies or require some coaching, we also have members only live Zoom sessions on Monday and Wednesday's evening. On Monday, we have weekly live call with Jin, where Jin will be talking, uh, we're giving you the recent uh, market and economic developments and also coaching you on what could happen and planning for what could happen for the coming week. This is really the opportunity to pick Gene's brain on pretty much any trading related questions you might have. And on Wednesdays, we run, uh, we run live trading sessions so that you can trade together with Gene. Okay, so now, now, not only that, we have a wide range of analysis uh, for the club members here. We have weekly currency correlation. Uh, okay, let me show you. We have a currency correlation here, you know, where we tells you which pairs are correlated to which pair, and so you can do a proper risk management. 
uh -huh. and we also have the daily watch list where we every morning we'll take a look at the currency pairs, which pairs, what can kind of, what kind of possible actions to do, what possible entry level and potential profit. Now, you can see that uh, you know, all this information are so great so that you can shortcut your way to a trading success. Now, to join the group, it is a paid subscription of one nine nine a year. The link is placed on the chat group, you know, the, the, the tradersclub.lcms.com.sg. Although it is a one nine nine a year, it's really less than a dollar a day. Now, if you have faced any uncertainty in your trading or taking any risk on your trades, you need to join the club to get some guidance towards profit and get some coaching to improve your confidence and strategy immediately. Now, trading can be very lonely, but with a close-knit community ready to share, trading can be really enjoyable and profitable. Now, if you ever already in the LCMS Traders Club, make sure you click this button here right now and join immediately. Now, while you're clicking and joining, uh, let me hand over now to Jin for the pound pairs. Jin. Good morning. So um, we are on Wednesday. Wednesday we are talking about the pound dollar. But you know, as usual, I have decided to do something a bit different. Uh, we're not going to be doing a currency call tomorrow or on Friday. Okay, Chinwei looks surprised right now uh, because he thought we we're doing one tomorrow. But we're not doing one tomorrow or on Friday because it is the Chinese New Year. It's all red. We are in the Chinese New Year mood. Um, so today I will be going through the pound, dollar, the US yen, the euro yen, the pound yen, and Canadian dollar. And right now I'll make Daniel scramble as well because he will be sharing with you about Bitcoin and Ethereum, the cryptocurrencies, as we would normally do on Friday. So look at him scramble right now. Bonus coverage. That's right, Roy. Uh, so if you attended today's session, you get extra information. Look at Daniel Sweat right now. Okay, uh, those of you who are on joining us on Facebook Live, uh, you know, click the link, come join us on Zoom so that you can put the comments and questions and all that in the chat, and then we can answer them because I'm not, mon not not monitoring the Facebook Live at this point in time. So let's get to it. The faster I get through it, the less time Daniel has to look at cryptocurrencies. So I do this on purpose, right? I do this on purpose. My main aim every day I come in is to see how hard I can make Daniel's life. Um, so forextradingasia.com, hit there, get onto the analysis, get onto the breaking news, get onto the economic calendar. Today is Wednesday, looking at the pound pass, yen and CAD. Main things you want to focus on tonight is the US CPI numbers. I've said this over and over for the past couple of days. Um, core CPI was 0.1%, expected to be 0.2. Looking at some recovery there. CPI month on month going from 0.4 to 0.3. Looking at a bit of a drop. So you get a bit of a mixed bag here coming from the US data. At this point, I think that we might still see some weakness come around for the US dollar. Okay, that's later tonight. On Thursday, we have, um, well, we've got China on holiday. We've got the US, New Australia consumer sentiment, economic forecast, jobless claims. I can tell you that on Thursday, the news is not probably going to move prices too much. It's going to be quite, um, we got a Fed budget, we got a Powell speaking at 3 a.m. I don't think volatility is going to be very high on Thursday. However, okay, while I'm quite happy to breeze through that on Friday, as most of us are enjoying Chinese New Year, at 3 p.m. we have the UK with their GDP numbers coming out quarter on quarter, expected to go from 16% to 0.5%. Look at that drop in GDP quarter on quarter, okay? So that might, that might pull the pound dollar down a little bit because if we do see that come out on Friday from 16 to 0 0.5. Um, and then after that, we see some more pound news, which is not going to change too much. Euro news, which is fine. And then US consumer sentiment looking at some recovery, slight, slight recovery in terms of consumer sentiment. 
So in the scheme of things, what could happen, what could happen, especially for the pound dollar is that, you know, we're seeing it climb significantly now over the past week or this whole week has been climbing upwards predominantly because of, if you scroll down here on the right side, you can see pound dollar climbing on bets for faster recovery, right? They have been doing massive amounts of vaccinations. It looks like they're coping, they're starting to cope a bit better with the whole um, COVID situation, with the vaccinations. It looks like we might see the UK recover a bit faster than the US. That's one of the reasons why we see the pound dollar has been climbing upwards. So looking at how it um, looks on the chart, this is the pound dollar on the H4 time frame. Currently, and this is what I've been telling you, right? For the past couple of days, it's just really broke above this 13727 level. Now at 13823, it looks like we might see a little bit of a downside before that upside continue, or we might see that um, pause might not come down, might sit across a little bit before continuing up. The upside is at 1.4, right? 1.4. So even if we look to trade it up towards 1.4, that significant upside here, um, 160 pips away, 170 pips away towards 1.4 as a price resistance price level. What I would best suggest is if you are going to do a longer term trade, if you're going to do a longer term trade, um, a stop loss, this you wouldn't be reasonable to put a stop loss below 1.3727. I would say stop loss would be kept quite tight, maybe 40 pips and 160 pip take profit level. 40 pip stop loss for 160 pip take profit level. That's a one is to four risk reward ratios for that upside on the pound dollar looking at that continual move upwards. Okay, so I expect something like that, especially as it stays, if it stays within that one and two standard deviation, slow climb upwards towards 1.4. So that's the pound dollar. Looking at the US yen right now, um, it broke below 105, sitting across with this, with how the yen has been sitting across right now, based on the price action indicators, it looks like it looks like it might bounce back up towards 105. However, with that topish feel of about 105.60 and it coming down, I think what's more likely to happen is going to sit across and head down towards 104. Right, head down towards 104. I would say look to sell look to sell below 104.50, look to sell below 104.50. So I've got about 104.45. Stop loss, very tight, 20 pips. Take profit level, 35 pips. That could be a trade setup that you set and forget um, for that continuation of a move downwards only if it breaks below 104.50. So quite straightforward for that. The Euro Yen, the Euro Yen has been massively volatile, right? It's shot upwards crazily. Last time we spoke about it, you can see that green line there. Last time, I'll zoom in one more. Last time we spoke about it, we said it's gonna sit across before shooting upwards. It did exactly that. At this point right now, I think that it might sit across. It might sit across and possibly go up and test 127.29. Okay, I think it might sit across and go up and test 127.29, but this will probably sit at, maybe you start going up at about 126, um, 126.70. Come down, it'll come down, consolidate around this area before starting to turn back up towards 127.29. Why I think that the Euro Yen is gonna move different to the US Yen, primarily because of how the Euro Dollar is doing. Right, the Euro dollar, I spoke about this yesterday. I said it was gonna come down and test this 1.2065 level. It did that exactly and went straight up right now going towards the 121.45 level. Moving along that green line as I draw. One of the many reasons why you should attend this call. So with the Euro US dollar going upwards, 
Um, this is likely to drag the euro yen up together with the euro dollar um, in divergence to the US yen. Then we have the pound yen. The pound yen is a little bit different again. Um, we see the pound dollar. <clears throat> we just said the pound dollar has been climbing upwards. Looks like it's going to continue moving higher. But the pound yen is at a massive, massive high point right now. I think that what we might see it do is come back down and test. I'll zoom in one more. Come back down and test 144.20. Okay. Um, I think you'll come back down, test this level before bouncing back up again. If you are looking for any trading opportunities here, it should only be a buy. You know, it will look very tempting to sell this down. It will look very tempting that if it breaks 144, it could drop massively. But at this point, with the way the pound has been going, um, it looks like it's going to come down, test 144.20 before bouncing back up again. So I'm looking for that move upwards. My next resistance is at 146.64, very high point right there. I think that if it bounces off 144.20, look for 145 before you go to 146. At that point, you can do a 30, 40 pip stop loss for a very good 80 pip take profit level. One is to two all over again. So very quickly, we went through the pound dollar, the US yen, the euro yen in correlation with the euro dollar, the pound yen in correlation with the pound dollar. The last one to look at is the US CAD. Straightforward. US CAD on the H4 time frame. Super straightforward. Um, looks like it's going to come down towards the 126.56 level. Okay, 126.56 level. And at this point, it looks like you might even want to move this support level down a little bit towards maybe 126.35 as it captures these significant points and this very low point there. <clears throat> so what I'm looking for at this point is for this black candle here, all right, for this black candle here to close below, to close below 126, um, let's be very safe, all right, to close below 126.80, close below 126.80, you can do a 30 pip stop loss for that 40 pip take profit level. This could happen quite quickly as it trends down, as it moves slowly downwards towards that support level um, before we decide, redecide again what could happen there. So this will be a short term trade down towards 126.35. Okay. Um, and then the last one gold. Gold has, we said it. It was going to come down towards 1773. Didn't do that. We've seen that move, the move of capital towards risk um, adverse, towards safety. We've seen gold climb. We've seen silver climb up. We've seen um, that move towards cryptocurrencies. And that's why the cryptocurrency talk later will be so important. Um, right now, it looks like it's coming close towards 1845. If it does break above 1845, then it will resume within that range of 1845 and 1954 within that price range again. And you can see that that has been a very good price range um, sitting in that levels, in between these levels since way back in August last year. So August last year, it came within this range and it has since struggled there, came down briefly before resuming back into that range again. Once it gets back in, I think those of you who like to trade gold, um, I know a couple of you there listening do. So, you know, you could be trading it upwards towards 8, 1954. So very quickly went through a many, many different currency pairs. Super happy with how the Euro US dollar did according as planned. Um, at this point right now, quick reminder, no, um, no currency call tomorrow, no currency call on Friday. And Traders Club members, I know, I know you, we usually do our live trading session tonight, um, but we did our live trading session on Monday already. So no live trading session tonight as well. We will be back fully recharged, ready to go nuts again on Monday next week.
With that said, I'll pass it back to Daniel to guide you through the cryptocurrencies. Okay, thanks, Jin, for the really good analysis on the pound, on the yen pairs, Canadian dollar as well. So now let's take a look at the cryptocurrency. Okay, so with the we can see the cryptocurrency uh, pairs here. Wow, um, you know, really amazing this week. Uh, we were looking last last week on Friday. We were just talking about you know. Bitcoin has been moving upwards. I we were looking at possible moving uh, cross before it continues to move upwards towards uh, the forty thousand range and perhaps even higher following the trend. Then we had bam, we had a news where you know, and I was just saying like, well, Bitcoin. Hopefully, Bitcoin. Uh, you know, unless uh, coming like, uh, you know, Elon Musk were talking and we were saying no, dog, Elon Musk was all about doggy coins. You know, <laughs> you know, and then what happened was yeah, he did. Tesla actually started to buy more than 1.9 billion dollars uh, worth of uh, uh, bitcoins, and then they also said that they will be maybe accepting uh, bitcoins for purchasing of their cars, Teslas, right? So straight away there was a big jump upwards way be before that, um, breaking the 40,000 uh, um, um, resistance level and continue, even broke uh, above this level of 45,000. I was I was saying possible next target, it already reached, and now they suspect that we are talking about it with possible uh, movement. Well, we'll continue the the well, the sentiment will continue maybe the whole of this week. It will probably moves out towards the fifty thousand range. So we we're, we're looking for a possible upward moves, a strong momentum right now for all the cryptocurrencies uh, right now to move forward, and the, the first one will be Bitcoin moving towards the fifty thousand range. Okay, and then next will be the Ethereum. Close this. Uh, Ethereum, we were looking at uh, because the, on Friday we were looking at it, break, it broke at the 1,400 range. We were saying that, hey, if possible, go for the next possible target of 181815. And it did that uh, very nicely, follow the, the direction uh, moving upwards. And there is actually talk about right now. There is a talk, really talk about moving. Uh, sorry, let me let me move make this uh, another resistance uh, line here. Uh, oh, it's this one. Um, another resistance line is possible. Another. Let's do, look for a round number of twin uh, two thousand, maybe around around two two thousand range here. I think uh, most likely looking at the talks and the strong momentum of cryptocurrencies. You know, looking at this here with the number two is probably be move, going to move around. By the end of the week, it could move even to the 2000 range for Ethereum. So just watch out for it as well. Now, last of all, uh, we look at the Ripple. Okay, Ripple, really interesting. I was looking at, you know, a possible ranging in this market following the Bitcoin, you know, moving towards uh, between these two resistance level, resistance support level here. And you can see that actually following the momentum of Bitcoin and Ethereum, it cryptocurrencies it push up it didn't push up too much it actually push up above to about to here about one uh, zero point four nine five zero now we we're, we're looking at ripple ripple zone seems to maybe moving too much but nevertheless following the momentum really very strong the cryptocurrencies we could be looking okay we could be looking at a possible movement all it may not be all the way up to the next resistance level of uh, 0 0.5856 but i think it, it could move in fact towards uh point this year 0 0.55 uh, level for for rip uh, for this uh, ripple okay currencies so that's that's the all uh, what we are looking at the analysis basing for bitcoin ethereum and ripple okay so that not thank you very much for this analysis for uh, the cryptocurrencies. Okay, let me now new launch a poll here. Okay, I got that. Okay, so let us know what you thought about these sessions today. So, uh, by the way, for those who are new here, a recording of this video will be uploaded in the LCMS Traders YouTube channel. So, thank you for joining these sessions today. So, to remember, tomorrow, as you mentioned, tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, Friday, there will be no currency call. We'll catch back to you on Monday for the Aussie and New Zealand. Looking forward to see you then. Bye. Happy Chinese New Year. Eat more, drink more.